Hi, this is Dan Smegbrod. I'm the founder of the Matterport User Group Forum. And joining me is uh, David Falstrup, the CEO of Evox Images, as well as Dave Weber, the Vice Chairman, Heads Up Marketing for uh, Evox Images. So, uh, 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 David, you have this amazing library of 360 degree spherical images inside cars, thus we're actually inside a car having this conversation. Tell me about your library. Uh, well, I guess uh, you'd have to go back 21 years to my garage and we started thinking VR was coming and 21 years maybe too early. And uh, at some point uh, we, uh, we were doing every imaginable kind of 360 real estate product, you name it. And we just happened to focus down in our market niche, which was cars, fairly quickly, uh, rather than trying to do everything. And uh, we had a launch client in those days, it was Microsoft, that wanted to do a library and a portal to show every car. And so that was the birth of our library. Um, so we, from that point on, shot every vehicle to the body style level. We have about 8,000 cars in 360s uh, in the library, as well as stills and so forth. So we're very much car focused since then, but have a lot of uh, sort of history and passion for the early days of VR and it's very interesting to see a lot of the things come back after 20 years and uh, kind of repeat themselves and um, uh, it's, it's fun. And, t and so today you have 8,000 uh, 360 degree spherical images inside cars uh, going back 20 years, you're shooting about how many images, three sp spheres a year? For the first part of those, for the first um, Initial years we were doing basically project-based work. We would work for our company doing stuff for the OEMs and then of course a mixture of projects uh, But the focus for us since model year 2000 has been cars and a library of cars and, and most recently in the last couple of years shooting uh, actually uh, stereoscopic uh, last couple of years stereoscopic yeah. uh, 360s with inside of cars. Yeah, I mean um, Like I say, we were probably we were 20 years too soon but clearly uh, VR is about to explode. And so uh, a couple of years ago, we uh, saw the signs of this. We were very close to some of the, the developers uh, of Oculus and so on. So we realized we need to get ready. So we uh, started shooting everything uh, in high, high resolution, stereoscopic 360. So every car that goes through the library, and we shot about 1,000 uh, 360 stereoscopic interiors and exteriors uh, 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 which is awesome and uh, in fact after we get done we're gonna go take a look uh, at the perhaps one of those stereoscopic uh, images of, of a car so I'm excited about oh. that um, uh, you mentioned uh, VR we're heading in the direction of VR uh, can you talk a little bit about where your where uh, Evox images is heading in terms of uh, virtual reality meets uh, automotive uh, well, you know, we're, we're tra part of a move to really transform the way people shop for cars. Um, uh, you know, a move away from uh, a pure traditional dealer lot towards more of an e-commerce model or transforming the way dealers sell cars with less inventory and, uh, and so on. There, there's really, uh, we're on the cusp of a technology-enabled transformation, which is also reflective of a change in the buyer patterns. You know, not just millennials, but everybody is looking for a different way to buy cars. Uh, and so the timing is, is very good to introduce these sort of um, uh, transform transformation of the retail yeah. experience, which is going to go beyond cars. You know, every every industry from real estate to I think is going to be impacted by the uh, head-mounted display technologies are becoming rapidly available to the consumer. Yeah, in, in fact, I think not uh, within the last 30 days, an announcement by a major automotive uh, manufacturer uh, having uh, dealerships that are only virtual reality. So uh, it's exciting to hear right. the, the kinds of what, what's coming. Yeah, so in terms of this library, Dave, this is, uh, you license this library, anyone that, uh, yeah, we, we license the library. Our biggest clients are uh, major dealer solution providers, the people that are building the dealership websites. So if anybody's shopping for a car 
in North America. They're seeing uh, Evox images. We're on over uh, 21,000 dealership websites. We're on the top major shopping portals. We're also 525 newspapers. So we're definitely the leaders in terms of uh, automotive imagery in both 2D and uh, 3D. So 2D too, yeah. So a huge, huge library there. So if we could, uh, in fact, just go back for a moment, because I could imagine a lot of the Matterport photographers uh, uh, across the globe are actually wondering about maybe could I put my Matterport camera in the car and and see if I could take a, a spin. Uh, you know, obviously, we, we looked at your 360 spherical photography. There's a lot of magic in what you do. The images are pristine. They're perfect. There's no stitching errors. They're absolutely phenomenal. But just without giving away any secret sauce is maybe talk about some of the challenges that either a Matterport photographer, and I know a lot of our, our members, our Matterport user group forum members are also Google Street View photographers. So they, they got their yeah. eight millimeter fisheye lens or some other solution. So what are some of the challenges about shooting in, in a car that they'd likely face perhaps with Matterport or, or just uh, in general? Yeah, I mean, we really would have loved to be able to use Matterport, and we've tried it in, inside cars, of course, with it very close proximity like that. You've got to make a lot of compromise, and when you're talking about product marketing, you've got to represent the car well. It's really got to be perfect. If anything, we're kind of upping the game in how everything is lit to OEM standards and you know, the shape of it and so on. You can't really be off. So we we have personally uh, uh, found um, the the Matterport wasn't the way to go right now for cars, so we're using um, uh, our, our own proprietary photography techniques, which is a combination uh, and a combination of photography and CGI. So re really, I think the point of this is, if you're a Matterport photographer and you're talking to a dealer, is really what you want to be doing is introducing them to Evox images or or, or even potentially licensing your library. To be a evaluated reseller wherever that is in the planet is that fair to well, say? Well, for the car itself, I think there's a there's a lot of opportunities for Matterport photographers within the automotive industry. It's a very big sector. I mean, the the dealership itself lends itself well to Matterport uh, and so on. So you, I think you have to look at the automotive industry more broadly than the actual product itself. We're more focused on representing the product, and we yeah. kind of got that covered we you know we really focus on that and have great interior and exterior content but everything surrounding that experience uh, there are lots of cases where you want to represent that in a different environment or link it to other experiences that really Matterport is, is best suited to uh, and we don't yeah. do we're, we're yeah. focused purely on the product well actually it which is a, fa a fascinating thing that you bring up about Matterport photographers being able to scan let's say a dealership uh, and today, Matterport has Matter Tags, which lets us tag uh, points within the space with text only. Uh, but Matterport has already announced plans to roll out Matter Tags that mm -hmm. enable tags that have digital images, video, uh, uh, fo uh, um, uh, clickable links. So I, I, I guess as we're talking, I could imagine that you could have a dealership where you're doing a virtual walk around the dealership and you can now actually um, perhaps segue to the Evox images of the beautiful pristine shots inside and outside the, the auto automobile, yeah. which may be even further tagged and you also shoot video. So uh, now you can be playing video and when I'm talking about Matterport Spaces 3D tours, we're generally talking about, let's say on an uh, iPad, laptop, desktop, um, but actually, Matterport has announced plans to take Matter tags into the virtual reality as well. So that opens up some interesting possibilities, Dave, licensing, yeah. in, 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 yeah. in, in terms of being able to walk through a dealership and have those Matter tags perhaps po point to the digital assets uh, that ImageVox is creating of uh, pristine inside the car, outside the car videos uh, and uh, even perhaps um, some, uh, you, maybe you could talk a little bit about the, the, the uh, cars that don't exist uh, yet, because you're doing a little bit of forward, forward, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you help, help me out with the words of how you help uh, a manufacturer with rolling out imagery for, for cars that perhaps don't exist yet. Is that the right way to say that? 
or just just announced the cars are just as they're announced well we'll work direct with an OEM and, and uh, capture vehicles you know under under cover uh, pre-release but we're you know we're a library of content that we license to other people that have solutions really we're, we're providing the library so we have a cross-brand content that's independent of the OEMs so when cars haven't been released yet we go uh, we have techniques where we can go out and use imagery and convert that into CG models then create secondary imagery out of that and then license that back to people out yeah, the library so you know, our first look library for example is, a, is CG it's not photography yeah it's CG models that we create by looking at reference photography so that that's actually crazy exciting because that almost means you could have a better virtual experience going to a virtual walkthrough of, let's say a, a Matterport photographer creating a 3d tour of a of an actual uh, dealership but as soon as those CG images are are available to have actually perhaps yeah. And you know, and keep in mind we may be talking somewhat in the future here, but I think it's exciting to hear about perhaps what's possible. So, it's yeah, like a virtual phone. This is a vir virtual version. phone. <laughs> so anyway, we've been we've been uh, we've been visiting with uh, Evox Images with uh, uh, David, the CEO, and Dave, the uh, Vice Chairman, and uh, I'm Dan Smigrod, founder of the Matterport User Group Forum. Thanks for joining us. We're here in Atlanta at Atlanta Tech Village uh, in the parking lot of all places. It seemed appropriate to chat with you. So that's well, thanks. That. thanks for having me. Thank you, David. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. A couple of good words. Thank you.